Hi. So we talked about this the other day about some new creative different dinner ideas and I wanted to take the pure chicken cutlet, mix it with chicken on the bone, make it tasty but different, the kids will like it, the grown-ups will like it. So I came up with honey mustard parmesan breaded chicken and we're gonna bake it to stay on the healthier side. If you have an air fryer, you can do it in the air fryer. But personally, I do not own one, so we are gonna bake in the oven. And the way we're gonna change it up is by using, and we're like makeshifting it a little bit. We're using products to help us cook a complete dinner. In a, so I'm not gonna make honey mustard sauce. An example, I'm gonna use Ken's honey mustard. Um, we're using breadcrumbs that I mix with Parmesan 50-50. I got chicken legs and thighs on the bone. If you don't like chicken on the bone, use the breast. So I use three eggs and I'm gonna use around a cup of the Ken's Steakhouse Honey Mustard. And the running joke here is because when we go to the diner, um, my kids and Bill love the honey mustard that comes with the chicken fingers. And I'm like, you guys understand that that's just Ken's bottle dressing. And they didn't believe me, so I went, I bought it, I put it on the plate and they had no idea when they ate their chicken same honey mustard that's so amazing at the diner so that's what I'm gonna use using that one cup one egg I'm not adding any salt and pepper to this because I seasoned my breadcrumbs up already and I'm setting up my dredge station which means wet dry sheet pan and our chickens in front of us I'm gonna wide dirty out of the bowl and pull it right out of the bag and put it into this mix this is going to be thick and pasty it's okay that's how the breadcrumbs are gonna to stick to it another little trick um, this is already opened and used, so I wanted to finish it. I just popped the top off, added around a quarter cup of warm water, shake it. We waste nothing in this house, look. Because right in here, it'll loosen up my batter a little, my batter, my mixture, but that's okay. I'm gonna stir with my fork. I'm just using a fork. You can do it in a bigger bowl with a whisk if you need to. Now this is really empty and it's trash. But you guys can see the consistency here. It's really gonna coat our chicken well. Okay, we're ready. Sheet pan is greased. Grabbing your chicken, throw it out of the bag. I'm gonna keep a wet hand and a dry hand. Turning my leg real wet. Let it drip off. Drop it in here. To help, scoop over. And then turn. Scoop over, then turn. Your leg should be nicely fully coated. Just give it a tap, line it up on the sheet pan. Once again, I'll do it real quick so you can see. Leg, wet hand, turn. Actually, this time I'm even thinking like I got my wet hand. I'm gonna lift some breadcrumbs, put the leg down, start by sprinkling it over, and repeat. Repeat it for all your chicken. Um, I always give it a good little tap, just tap off some of the excess, and laying it down. Keep the same size chicken all together. So I'm doing one pan of legs, one pan of thighs. Uh, oven's at 375. Got our last piece of chicken on the sheet pan, just so you can see. Like I said, kept all my thighs together. Coated well, actually I have a little bit left over, but I'm gonna throw that away because raw chicken. And I wanted to show you how quick and easy cleanup, just in case Ziploc ever wants a spokesperson for themselves. Chef Kovis always, always uses Ziploc, so we just throw it away. And clean up this like this. I can hear you in there. You're saying you want it to be crispy. You want it to get nice and crispy skin. So two big components of this. One, you need to rotate your pan so it cooks evenly because every oven has a hot spot. Number two, we're gonna use an olive oil spray on top to almost give a nice little sheen to these legs. Now, honey mustard does have some sugar in it so we don't want these to burn. So the oven's at 375. We're gonna go 15 minutes, rotate, Check them, 15 minutes. Um, on the bottom, the pan has been sprayed heavily too. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this comes out awesome. Um, I think the concept behind it is great. And we got a nice coating on top. These babies are going in the oven and I will show you the after. Okay, let's check our status. Oh yeah, tomatoes are in the middle blistering. Let's check our thighs. Now this has been 15 minutes with a rotation for another 15, so a total of 30 minutes. So I'm gonna give it another 10. Same with the legs. Oh yeah, baby. 
honey mustard chicken parmesan and our tomatoes that are gonna be blistering. Okay, I put it nice on a plate. Parmesan chicken on the bone, the honey mustard parmesan chicken with our bucatini pomodoro sauce. Now listen, honestly, this is two meals in one. You could serve this pasta all by itself for dinner. It is completely substantial. You can throw a pot of rice on or some baked potatoes for the chicken, but I liked the idea of the play on the Parmesan chicken version with the pasta. So this is my dinner. So my thing with this dish was, first of all, let me show you the pasta. Because the pasta itself, total comfort food, total night in just big bowl of pasta. to pause while I <clears throat> digest that and now we're gonna break into the chicken um, like I said in the oven and look still very crispy nice coating on it the honey mustard is like mild underneath it gives like a hint of sweet but the Parmesan white salt comes right on out really really good Enjoy. If you make it, tag us. Let me know how it comes out.